Hello everyone, welcome to my video on the attack on Pearl Harbor. My name is Alexis Camarena and let's get started. So I'm going to give you guys a brief overview. So let's start off with who was involved. So we see the Japanese military leading the attack and the United States defending against the attack. Uh, where did it happen? It happened on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. naval base located on Honolulu, Hawaii, which is off the southwest coast of the United States. Uh, so when did it happen? This occurred on December 7th, 1941, during World War II. But an interesting fact to uh, note is that the Japanese military actually spent several months planning an event planning in advance for the attack. So what was it? The attack was basically a surprise Japanese air and naval attack on the major fleets of the US naval military. So the major fleets were the uh, military ships of the US. So how did it happen? Uh, the Japan airplanes bombed the naval fleets and also sent torpedoes towards the hull, which in the end sunk the ships and destroyed them completely. So I'm going to go into the causes, what caused the actual uh, attack and the effects after that. So one of the minor but important uh, causes was a small conflict between the US and Japan. So during the, 19, the late 1930s, uh, Japan was really hostile and aggressive towards China and the US didn't really like that. And we could see that Japan declared a war on China in 1937. Uh, this caused the Nanking Massacre and other terrible effects. Um, basically a lot of bloodshed and deaths and it was terrible. So the US decided to hammer Japan with uh, economic sanctions and trade embargoes. So the economic sanctions and trade embargoes basically means uh, a withdrawal of uh, resources from one country to the other. So since the U.S. was the prime supplier to Japan, uh, the U.S. brought back any resources that it was sending to Japan. So this basically stopped Japan from continuing, continuing its expansion. So the effect of all of this was that it did actually slow down Japan, but it actually got them angry. Um, this fueled Japan to stand their ground against uh, the U.S. So that created a, a lot of tension between the two countries. And with one small move, uh, there'd be a war between the two. And if, if you think about this presentation, I think you already know what happened. Okay, so the second cause and effect. Uh, the, actually, the United States didn't expect any type of threat or attack from uh, Japan. Uh, and even less on Pearl Harbor, because Pearl Harbor was located far away from them, and the U.S. thought that Japan, if attacking anyone, uh, they would attack Europe or any of their neighboring countries. But for that reason, Pearl Harbor wasn't really secure. They weren't. The U.S. wasn't really worried about Pearl Harbor getting attacked, so it wasn't really secure. And the planes and the naval fleets, they were lined up in a perfectly organized manner. Manner, yeah. And I'll show you guys a picture of that uh, in a bit. So, the actual effect was that Japan used disinformation to create a surprise attack, um, as the U.S. wasn't expecting any attack. And um, if the U.S. actually did know about the attack, I believe the results would have been much different. So, here I'm going to show you guys the, a little picture of the, what was it, the route? the um, Japanese airplanes took. So they came in from the back of the island, as you could say, if we're looking, if we're looking as Pearl Harbor the front. They came in from the back, circled around. We have a little liner here. They split into two and then three, in which they came in from the left, the front, and the right. And then we have other ones coming in from behind. So the fact is that they were getting attacked from all sides. And since they came in from the back, uh, everyone on Pearl Harbor didn't see them. They were most likely facing this way, and they didn't see anything from behind. Another thing is they also did attack uh, other smaller military areas, one right here, and then we have two over here. Oh, let me go back. So 
here is the organization of the Pearl Harbor. We have a lot of lines of ships. We have one line, another line, a third one, fourth, fifth. We see a lot of uh, direct uh, lines of ships. So if a airplane came from this side, following my mouse, they would have been able to get these ships right here. If one came over here, they would have got these ships. So it was basically organized in a manner that was easy for the Japanese. Uh, airplanes to attack. So here I'm going to show you guys a picture of one of the ships going down. This was actually the U USS, uh, what was it? Shaw. Yeah, I remember that one. So you can see from the little color coding over here that yellow means damaged and red means sunk, right? The, sh the USS Shaw was actually damaged. So let's look at that picture again. This is considered damaged. So now imagine what sunk was. That just puts into perspective the amount of damage that was actually dealt during the attack. So let us move on to the last cause and effect. So Japan was actually scared of the USS power. This was one of the main, this was the main, the main cause. So Japan was really scared of the USS power. Um, they didn't want the US to interfere with their own plan such as the war against China um, but ultimately the real reason was because they didn't want the US to join World War II because they felt that the US was too powerful uh, for the central powers to take on and so to weaken the US naval units which was one of the most powerful at the time that's why they were so scared um, they wanted to weaken them so that they weren't power so that the US wasn't powerful enough to join the war and so the actual effect of that we're going to see in a bit right here I'm just going to go over the overall effect so by the end of the entire ordeal many things happened uh, first Japan destroyed 20 US ships and 300 planes and it wrecked the airships and the docks on which these were located at um, but unfortunately 2,403 sailors, soldiers, and civilians were killed, with another 100 wounded. And so, that was a lot of the bad stuff. We, they did receive a little good out of all of this. Um, that was that the attack really didn't um, target the vital onshore elements. So, that was the oil storage depots, the repair shops, the shipyards, and the submarine docks. All these uh, four elements, and there was other more, but these were the main ones. Um, they were able to help the U.S. recover really quickly. So, going back to what we just talked about, um, what Japan didn't want to happen, did happen. So, and it was actually worse. Um, Japan didn't want the U.S. to join the war, but instead the U.S. declared war on Japan and entered the war on the Allied side, which actually turned the war around. So, you see Japan really lost a lot in the after effects of all this. So that wraps up the causes and effects. I'm just going to show you guys a little illustration of pictures. Here we have the Japanese air units. You see their actual flag symbol on the side of it, the flags as well. Uh, this is the U.S. Naval Fleet. This is one of them. And actually, this picture was actually taken as this uh, Naval Fleet was, was uh, heading towards the Pearl Harbor as it was getting bombed to try to defend against it. And this right here is a mini submarine. Uh, these were used to actually sink these big uh, ships. And over here, we have an uh, aerial picture of Pearl Harbor before the bomb. You see, it's really organized. You have a couple ships here, the little inland uh, area. You see uh, the little airship right here. Over here, we see the main operation center. Uh, we see a lot of the roads. This is where all the civilians were at. They were caught within the bombing and everything of the Japanese. That's why we see a lot of civilian deaths as well. And here's an interesting picture. Here we see soldiers, one with a machine gun fighting against the Japanese airplane. So uh, I actually read a book on the Pearl Harbor and these machine guns actually did do a good amount of damage on the airplane. They were actually able to take some down. So although it looks pretty small, they were able to uh, deal a good amount of damage so um, in reality the US considering it was a surprise attack 
they did a really good job handling the whole situation and eliminating the threat. So, um, yeah, that's basically the causes, effects, a little extra in of Pearl Harbor, the attack on Pearl Harbor. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.